Okay, in this video, we are multiplying binomials. Oh yes, that have radicals in them. Well, we don't change the rules in math. We don't change the rules in the middle of the game. When you multiply a binomial times a binomial, you still are going to use FOIL. The first term, 3 times 4 is 12. The outer terms, way out here, 3, oh, be careful with that negative. 3 times a negative radical 6 is a negative 3 radical 6. Inner terms, 4 times radical 5 is just a positive 4 radical 5. And the last term, radical 5 times a negative radical 6 is a negative radical 30. The question is, am I done? Do I have any of these radicals that can be simplified, that can be broken down? No. Do I have any like terms that I could combine? No. This is your answer. 12 minus 3 radical 6 plus 4 radical 5 minus radical 30. Once again, we are multiplying. There is nothing between these parentheses. I do know that I am multiplying. A binomial times a binomial. I will use FOIL. I have 8 plus radical 2 times 3 plus radical 5. The first terms, 8 times 3 is 24. The outer terms, 8 times radical 5, and they're both positive, that would be a positive 8 radical 5. The inner term, a radical 2 times 3, that would be a positive 3 radical 2. I do like to put the coefficient in front of the radical. And the last term, a positive radical 2 times a positive radical 5 is a positive radical. 2 times 5 is 10. I can't break down any of these radicals. You may be thinking I could break 10 down into 5 times 2, but that wouldn't be just radical 5 or just radical 2. It would be radical 5 times 2, which is different. So I still would not have any like terms. I have three more problems to go. Make sure you watch all three because they get more exciting and they'll get you ready for the next video. I'll do this one quickly. Once again, we're multiplying a binomial times a binomial. First term, 4 times 5 is 20. Outer terms, 4 times a negative radical 3 is a negative 4 radical 3. Inner terms, a positive 5 times radical 3. And the last term, a positive times a negative, that would be a negative. Now watch this. Radical 3 times radical 3, well that's radical 9, but radical 9 is just 3. The radical is gone. Now do I have any like terms? I do have like terms here. I told you this would get more exciting. 20 minus 3 will be 17. Negative 4 radical 3. Positive 5 radical 3 will be a positive 1 radical 3. I am not writing a 1 because that is the same thing. Two more problems to go. Don't touch that dial. I have 5 plus radical 2 times 5 minus radical 2. First term, 5 times 5 is 25. Outer terms, a positive 5 times a negative radical radical 2 will be a negative 5 radical 2. Inner terms, a positive 5 times radical 2. And the last term, a positive times a negative will be a negative. And radical 2 times radical 2 is a radical 4, which is just 2. We're not done yet. We do have some like terms here. Positive 25 and a negative 2. That will be 23. Negative 5 radical 2. A positive 5 radical 2. They cancel. They're gone. They're out of there. We get just 23. You will learn in a future video that when we have the same terms in the binomial, but just different signs, a positive and a negative, we lose the radical completely. One more problem. In parentheses, we have radical 8 plus 5 squared. Please don't say that is 8 plus 25. 
You know better than that. If you don't, then you, you need to go back and watch my video on multiplying special products. Radical 8 plus 5 squared, that does mean radical 8 plus 5 times radical 8 plus 5. The same thing. Are these going to cancel out? No, we don't have a positive times a negative. Radical 8 times radical 8 is just plain old 8. Outer terms, 5 times radical 8 is 5 radical 8. Inner term, if you remember our special products, you know that the inner and the outer are always the same thing. It will also be 5 radical 8. And the last term, 5 times 5, is 25. I can do more. I have some like terms. 8 plus 25, that would be 33. And a positive 5 radical 8, another positive 5 radical 8 will be a positive 10 radical 8. Do you think you're done? You're not done. Radical 8 can be simplified. I will break 8 down into 4 times 2. 4 is a perfect square. When it comes out, it is perfect of 2. I will have 33 plus 20, 2 times 10, on radical 2. Now am I done? So, do you think the answer is 53 radical 2? No! I hope you're saying, what is that woman doing? Of course the answer is not 53 radical 2. I can't put those together. I can't add those. They are not like radicals. I'm done.